Hello everyone and welcome to the 2023 Red Pill Awards. Here we will count down the best five and the worst five Red Pill content creators of 2023. This list is based on 2023 performance alone. We'll get started with the worst five, count those down, and then we will move on to the best five. The fifth worst spot on this list goes to the relatively unknown podcast called Unfiltered. The reason they take number five is due to their obvious copying of the Fresh and Fit podcast. Similar show format, even a similar intro, which I'm showing here now, and even the look of their set is similar. Getting inspiration from others is fine, but the show just kind of looks like the minor league version of Fresh and Fit. Still, perhaps they'll break out and have a big 2024. Fourth worst spot goes to Adam Sostick of the Saucecast. Sostnik also appears often on the very popular PBD podcast. Sostnik can be entertaining and funny at times, but his tendency to draw his points out for far too long often disrupts the flow of the show and undermines what he's saying. Comparative question to ask, though. And, uh, oh, my uh, God. Uh, Adam, it's so, so okay. I got you. So, Rob, why don't you do this? Do you want me to say that I guarantee I've been wait, other No, Trump? it's not. You, you to... said the same thing five times. I got it. Send, make your point, Rob. Third worst spot on this list goes to the very popular streamer Sneeko. I expect this choice to be a little controversial, as Sneeko has many loyal fans. But Sneeko takes the third worst spot due to his consistent flip-flopping while simultaneously asserting that whatever side he's currently supporting is correct and those who disagree are bots. IRL streaming is, is what I want to do now. And let's be honest, the red pill is, uh, is dying. It's over. And I got in at the right time, hit the wave at the right time. He claims here he is moving on to IRL streaming and that the red pill is dying. Conveniently, by the way, just after streamer Destiny made this claim. But Sneeko still appears on Fresh and Fit to this day. So for that hypocrisy, plus a few other examples of flip-flopping, it's enough to land him as this year's third worst red pill content creator. But to Sneeko's credit, he is an entertaining streamer. He is good at keeping his audience engaged, and I think he'll likely be a popular streamer and content creator for years to come. Number two on this list goes to Zerka. If this list was done back in the middle of the year, Zerka probably would have been included in the top five best Red Pill content creators. His first few appearances on Fresh and Fit were incredibly funny, and he even won a bet against Abba of Abba and Preach, who bet Zerka he would not hit 125,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of 2023. Zerka easily won that bet. However, as Zerka appeared on more and more shows, it became clear, at least in my opinion, that he was entertaining in small samples. He has a very hard time letting anybody else talk, which eventually gets annoying, as nobody, be, nobody can be hilarious every time they interject or every time they speak. And Zerka has really not parlayed the fame he grew in the middle of the year from the fresh and fit appearances to all that much. He also had an embarrassing viral moment with HS Tiki Talkie, and since then he streams on Kick. But the few times I've seen him streaming, all he's really doing is talking to random people on Monkey Up. And the number one worst red pill content creator of 2023 goes by the name Modern Life Dating or MLD. MLD went viral in the middle of 2023 for having multiple embarrassing gaffes on podcasts all within the same week. He was ridiculed online after clips of him went viral during an appearance on the Whatever podcast. And then he stormed off an episode of the Sauce Cast later that week when he struggled to defend some past comments that he made online. Uh, MLD, final words before you run off. I don't want to go out like this. Anything you would like to say before you do? I got nothing to say. I'm out. See? My point. All right, brother. I'll fix it. Thank you. Sorry. Of course, bro. Joey, let's make sure he gets out safely. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, so there you have it. MLD wins the title of the worst red pill content creator of 2023. So now we'll change things up a bit. Here are the five best red pill content creators of 2023, starting with the fifth best. The fifth best red pill content creator of 2023, Matt Walsh. A late entry to the red pill awards. Matt Walsh sneaks in just at the end of 2023 as he called out his fellow traditional conservatives for applauding a video of a woman expressing delight in going on a date with a traditionally masculine bro, which she called him, and he paid. Does she want to select just this one single solitary aspect of traditional gender roles, the one aspect where she gets free stuff, and turn the rest of it away? Because this is how it very often goes with feminists of this sort. As he points out, this is just one part of a traditional relationship, and of course the person likes it, as she's getting free stuff. Matt Walsh's inclusion on this list is sort of a representation of traditional conservatives, that perhaps in 2024, they're gonna to start to consider and debate and discuss more red pill type topics. Number four, Michael Sartain. I included Michael Sartain in this list because he's had consistent quality appearances on red pill shows, 
and he also has a show of his own called Access Vegas with Rolo Tomasi. Michael debates and argues topics in a way that makes the other person feel comfortable even as he is arguing directly against their point. I think the Red Pill space could use more of this and less people just trying to dunk on each other to farm viral clips. The number three best Red Pill content creator of 2023, Brian of the Whatever Podcast. Perhaps a surprising selection here, as his show can be a little bit boring and drawn out at times, but I've given Brian of the Whatever Podcast the third place spot for a couple reasons. Number one, consistency. He generally puts his show on twice a week, and he manages to get a lot of interesting guests to come on. Just the fact he provides this platform and consistently gets that many people into a room for his dating talk show is impressive. And secondly, and this is probably the bigger one, clips from his show are used by so many other shows to farm content off. Whether it be Red Pill creators, conservative pundits, or others, it was only a matter of time when scrolling the internet in 2023 that you would stumble upon a clip or someone reacting to a clip from the Whatever podcast. These clips even got into ecosystems kind of outside the Red Pill space, like on TikTok and places like that. Perhaps this is why Brian's shows drag on for so long, as he is simply just waiting for his panel to come up with more viral moments. Number two on the list of Red Pill content creators of 2023, Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit have to be included on this list. They continue to be the name many people think of when they think of the Red Pill. Their show is probably the center of the Red Pill content creator ecosystem, as getting an appearance there can garner, garner you thousands of fans overnight. The Fresh and Fit studio is unique and professional, and they continue to turn out hours and hours of content every single week. One knock I'd personally have on the show is sometimes watching it can get a little bit uncomfortable as the panel conversation on their after hours show gets pretty personal. Perhaps though, this is a price to pay of having a lively panel show where controversial topics are being discussed. And finally, we're on to number one. This may be a bit too soon, but the number one Red Pill content creator of 2023 is Destiny. I mean, how can it not be? The story could not have been written better if it was done by Hollywood writers. He was the undisputed number one challenger of Red Pill ideas all year long. He went on show after show and debated against Red Pill content creators on almost every single point that they had. But to Destiny's credit, at least in my opinion, he actually won a lot of these debates. But he even went on shows with his wife and told Red Pill content creators right to their face how incorrect and wrong they were about relationships. He defended his open marriage publicly. If I lose all my confidence and I turn into a f***ing loser and I just start smoking weed all day and play League of Legends, it's not like I'm going to rely on my monogamy to keep her trapped also, in the I house. Also, I feel like, like it kind of helps like having an open relationship too because you actually get to like taste the things that you're interested in that might not be like a relationship. You know, like you live with them or you want to have a future with them, right? But is that sustainable? Do, yeah, do yeah, you guys... Hold yeah, 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 on, wait, don't we have the longest <laughs> relationship at this table so far? <laughs> you yeah. do, you do. But, sure. but like, do you guys have a high degree of confidence that your marriage will last for decades. I mean, I yeah. married her without a prenup, so I <laughs> hope so. <laughs> he defended his open marriage publicly like he did there and made content out of this, all while spending much of 2023 going on show after show or talking about it on his own stream about how wrong RP content creators are about relationships. But then a little while ago, Destiny announced that he and his wife Melina were getting a divorce. Of course, Destiny's marriage ending does not prove everything that the red pill content creators say is true, but still, the irony is too much to ignore. So with that said, Destiny is the winner of the best red pill creator of the year. Now, I'm sure not everyone will agree with my list. Let me know if I missed anyone in the comments or what you would change about my list. And thanks for tuning into the 2023 Red Pill Awards. Perhaps we will see you again next year. Have a good day.